into fractions. Remember, we're taking the scenic route first. So just follow along with the steps. Trust me, it'll all work out. It, it will. Okay. So we have 0.45 as a fraction or a, a decimal. How many digits repeat? Two. So if I were to extend this, what would it what would it keep going at? Four, five, four, five, four, five, forever. Okay. So we're going to go through these steps. Step one, write an equation. X equals the decimal. Okay. So X equals 0 0.45 and the 45 is repeating. Step two, multiply each side of the equation by 10 to the d power. d is the number of digits that repeat. So how many digits repeat in this decimal? Two. So we're going to multiply the left side by 10 squared. And we're going to multiply the right side by 10 squared. What if three numbers repeated? What would I multiply both sides by? 10 to the third power, right? Or fourth power and so on. What is 10 squared? 100, right? So 100 times x is going to give me 100x. And then multiplying this by 100 is just moving the decimal two places. To the right. Which we practiced doing that when we were converting fractions into percents, right? Take the fraction, write it as a decimal, multiply times 100. Shortcut it, just move it two places to the right. Bless you. So when I move this two places to the right, the repeating part doesn't go away. Now I just have 45.45 repeating. Right, so the repeating digits didn't disappear. I just now have a whole number and the repeating value. And this got 100 times bigger, too. That's how equations work. You have to do the same thing to both sides. So we've now done step one and step two. Step three says subtract the equation you wrote in step one. Okay? The equation I wrote in step one was x equals 0 0.45 repeating. So I'm taking this equation and I'm subtracting this equation from it. So what's 100 x's minus a single x? I'm going to have 99 x's left. And what's 0.45 repeating minus 0.45 repeating? Zero. So I'm going to be left with is 45. What's the last step here to solve this equation? How am I going to get that x by itself? What do I have to do, Maggie? Yeah, you would have to divide by 99. Divide by 99. So I have x equals 45 over 99. And hopefully you're looking at that thinking, I think I can simplify that. What number can go into 45 and 99? Nine. Nine. Five. And then you would have to keep going and then you have to simplify again. So we'll just simplify by 9 and we're going to get 5 over 11. So I just turned this repeating decimal into a fraction to prove that it's rational. And if I want to check my work, I can open up my calculator. I don't have the Desmos one on my phone, so I'm just going to use the iPad, the Apple one. And if I do 5 divided by 11, I get 
the four or five, four or five repeating. Right. So that was our scenic route. Let's do another one. You guys ready? It is 1219. The board tells you. Yep. Okay. So this one is a little different. I have three digits that repeat. I'm going to ignore this five for a second because I'm just going to focus on the decimal value. The, the whole number is not going to change. But we're, we got to figure out what this is worth. So I'm going to write an equation. X equals 0 0.072. And notice that all three digits repeat. So put a line over all three digits. Great question. My second step, remember, says to multiply each side of the equation by 10 to the d. d is the number of digits that repeat. So how many digits repeat here? So what am I going to multiply each side by? 10 to the third power. So the reason we do a 10 is because that's an easy way to shift our decimal, right? Because when you multiply something by 10, you're making it 10 times bigger. So that makes it go a whole place value bigger. So that's helping us to, and whatever we do to the right side, we have to do to the left side. So there's that property of equality that I'm sure you are so fond of from seventh grade. Yeah, sure. I think about it daily. Hmm? A lot. You learned so much. Okay, so when I work this out, I'm going to get 1,000x equals, and when I move this decimal three places, I'm going to get 72.072, and this is going to be the repeating part. So this three tells me to move the decimal three places. Some of you are probably thinking, like, wait a minute, how did this, where did this zero go? Well, since that zero is now part of this whole number, I don't have to write it there. So I still have the repeating 0, 072, 0, 072, 0, 072. I just don't have to show that zero here. And then I'm going to subtract my original equation. So I'm going to subtract x equals 0 0.072 repeating. I'm going to end up with 99x equals 72. Oh, 999. X equals 72. That was a great question. Where did I get 99 from? Um, and how did you get 72? So because this part, this 0 0.072 minus 0 0.072 repeating, those are going to cancel out because they're the exact same thing. So those are gone. 
Just like up here, how the 0.45 repeatings canceled out, so we're just left with the whole number. And then we're going to divide by 999. So we get x equals 72 over 999, which as you all probably figured out, can simplify by 9 again. So it's going to be 8 over 111. So my final answer is going to be 5 and 8 over 111 because I had that 5, remember, from way up here. Okay, this next one is a doozy. I'm not going to pretend it's not. The next one is a very long scenic route. But then when I teach you the shortcut, you're going to be like, I so appreciate the shortcut. But you would not appreciate the shortcut if you didn't know the, the scenic route or the method, right? I can't, you, you won't appreciate it if I, don't, if I don't show you the long one. So bear with me. You'll be fine. This is the long way. Okay. So we're going to do this decimal. But notice that only the 6 is repeating. So it's a slightly different strategy, right? We have a 3 that doesn't repeat and a 6 that does. So if this extended, it would just be 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6 is forever, not the 3. So we're going to follow the same process, kind of. So we're going to rewrite it as an equation. Only the 6 is repeating. So be like super obnoxious about only the 6 being repeating with your, when you write it out. How many um, digits repeat? One. One. One digit, just the number 6. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 10 to the first power. This is where it gets a little strange. I have 10x on the left. And then if I only move this one place, right? So it's going to be 3.6. And that second six is the repeating one. Well, I just need to show that then this will repeat. So if I move this one place, only this one will repeat. It's, it's not ideal, but that's how it works. Yes? This is just like a one little exponent right here to show that it's 10 to the first power because only this six repeats. I'm still going to subtract my original equation. So I'm going to be left with 9x equals 3.3. These sixes that repeat are, are going to cancel each other out, so those are gone. I'm going to divide by 9 on both sides. And you can't have a decimal in a fraction. It's not allowed mathematically. It's like having a fraction within a fraction. People don't like that. 
So what can I multiply 3.3 .3 by to make it a whole number? If I just want to move the decimal one place, what can I multiply it by? 10. And if I do it to the numerator, I have to do the same thing to the denominator. So I'm going to get 33 over 90. Because I can't have that decimal there. Divide by 3, you get 11 over 30. And that's my final answer. Oh, this should be 90, not 99. Mistakes all over the place this morning. Here we go. That's perfect. That's what you needed. So then if I use my fancy phone calculator and I do 11 divided by 30, I get 3 points and only the 6s are repeating. Okay, so really quick, let's take a look at something before we turn our paper over. What do you notice about this decimal and this fraction before we simplified it? What do you notice? Okay, so the numbers that repeat became part of my numerator. And then what do you notice about the denominator? two nines and I have two numbers that repeat. What do you notice about this over here before we simplified? Three nines and how many digits repeat? Three. Again, we don't have to show that zero here because you don't need that when it's just a placeholder to the left, right? Everybody with me? Okay, so let's turn our paper over. Let's take the shortcut. What do you think this will be as a fraction? How many digits repeat? One. So my numerator is going to be seven. How many nines in my denominator? Three. That's my answer. Well, that's, that's what we discovered through the scenic route, that when you're doing repeating decimals, you have nines in your denominator. The number of digits that repeat becomes a number of nines in the denominator. So then this one's going to be, okay, which is good, but it can simplify to 3 over 3. Just kidding, 2 over 3. 2 thirds, yep. Okay, how many digits repeat for this one? 2. And then only one of those digits repeats, so it's going to be 3 over 99, which can simplify to? Good job. You guys are doing great. You are. Watch how fast we're going to do this one compared to how long it took us on the first side. Two numbers repeat. No, I know that. I know that number. Where did we get three? Um, because, this is the, this is the question. because there's a zero three here. We don't oh have to gosh. put the zero here. We don't have to. I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't okay, have to. Yeah. yeah. It's just kind of like a hidden number there. Okay. Okay. So here we have two numbers that repeat, the four, five, the 99. We can simplify this to... 5 over 11. I would say that was significantly faster than the first time we did it. If you look on the front of your paper, you can see how long it took us the first time. So this is very obviously the shortcut. Okay, so this one down here, we leave the 3. What's my numerator going to be? 28. And what's my denominator going to be? Can 28 over 99 be simplified? No. No. Nope. nope, it's just what it is. Nothing goes into 28 and 99 evenly. 
And then we'll do this one again as the shortcut. We're going to get 5. 72 over how many nines? 3. Three. Three. Which simplified to 5 and 8 over 111. So much better, right? But you wouldn't appreciate that if you didn't already do the scenic route. I have a question. Yes. When you simplified it, did you need <laughs> like if I wanted to put this into like an improper fraction, or like, yeah, I would multiply 999 times 5 and add 72. All right, that's yeah. what I thought. Yeah, but we're going to leave it like this for now. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to teach you guys the shortcut for when only part of the value repeats. Ladies. So we're going to do the same. We did this one on the front. I'm going to teach you this shortcut now because I think we can all agree that this is not ideal, this situation. Right? It's not our favorite. So I need you guys to focus here. You're going to miss a step, and you're, you're going to be like, wait, I don't know the shortcut, and then you're going to be sad. Okay. Kind of. Kind of. So this is, this is only part of it, right? You have to understand what's happening here, too, what we write down. Okay, so we have two digits behind the decimal. So we're going to write that 36. It does not matter that the 3 or the 6 only repeat. So this is digits after decimal. Digits after the decimal. Then we're going to subtract the non-repeating digit. So we're going to subtract 36 minus the 3. going to get 33, right, because 36 minus 3 is 33. And then this is where it gets a little crazy. We have a single nine because only one digit repeats. Those nines represent how many digits repeat. And then we have a single zero because this is how many digits? One digit repeat. It's okay. There you go. So the number of nines represents how many digits repeat. The number of zeros represents how many digits don't repeat. We have a single digit repeating, and we have a single digit that doesn't repeat. So that's why we have 90. So why didn't you write zeros after the So this one's different because this only has not the whole thing repeats. Okay. Yeah, so that's why this one's a little bit different. It requires a little bit... Like a little, it's just a little extra. Okay. Yep. And so then I would simplify this, and I'm going to get 11 over 30. And I think we can all agree that was much easier than what we did on the front. It's a shortcut, and it's kind of got some wonky rules, but it's definitely easier. Okay, let's do this last one. We've got plenty of time to do one more problem. Okay, so what are the digits that repeat? Or the, 
So there's the digits that are after the decimals, the 146. We have one digit that does not repeat. So the digits after the decimal minus the digit that's non-repeating. We have a single digit, and it happens to be a 1. So we get 145. How many digits repeat? Two. two. So I need two nines. How many digits don't repeat? One. So I need a zero. So now I've got five and 145 over 990, which simplifies to five and 29 over 198. Just trust me. Wasn't that way easier than all the multiplying by 10 and all that nonsense. Tomorrow we're going to practice this. Yay! It's going to be awesome.